Hey everyone, I am out here at the Angel of Chavanaugh campground. Um, this is where you can get on a road that takes you to North Fork Reservoir. It is a road that is occasionally groomed, groomed by the local snowmobile club, though I just went and checked the conditions and it doesn't look like they've been out. Uh, with the lack of snowpack in this area right now, um, I'm guessing there are some bare spots um, somewhere in the six miles between here and North Fork Reservoir. I might not even make it there because it looks like the conditions are going to be a little bit tough. So, um, here we go. First, I'm going to go low tire pressure today. And I'm going to show you how I adjust that using the Quark Tire Whiz. So, my usual way that I... I've already adjusted my front tire. Um, it is at 2.9. That is the reason why it's showing up as red is because that's a tenth of a PSI lower than my um, three PSI low threshold, which is totally fine. Um, but I have not adjusted the rear yet. What I'll do is before I leave the house, I'll pump the tires up to around, I don't know, seven or eight PSI and I can let air out when I get to the trailhead. The reason being differences in temperature and differences in elevation will change your tire pressure. So I just go a little high and then when I get to where I'm starting, I adjust my tire pressure and I'm gonna go low because the conditions look real bumpy. So we're gonna go about three and a half in the back. There we go, three and a half PSI. Um, like I said, just typical fat bike setup like I showed you in my last video. I've got my single track pogies. I've got my j -Pak's burrito bag. I'm about to get a slightly bigger burrito with some more solid mounts on it. I can fit so many gloves inside. Uh, but that is my setup for today. I forgot my blinky light, which I usually use if I'm on a snowmobile trail just so they can see me, but I forgot it. Um, there are no trailers or anything in the parking area, so I don't think I'll encounter anyone else today out there. So, uh, yeah, here we go. The trail is in... It's very packed, um, lots and lots of snowmobile and snowshoe traffic, lots of snowshoe traffic. So um, my tire pressure might be aggressively low for today. Pro tip, taking my buff off, I'm gonna put it inside there instead of in my pocket because that way it won't get um, like moist and sweaty because this is going to be a sweaty ride. Um, it's really nice, but it's warm. Pretty steep. I've been camped on my 2850 most of the way. Two mile update, trail's getting a little narrower. Definitely looks like uh, another snowmobile turned around, maybe a half mile back, but still well packed. Still plenty of snowshoe packing here. Still a couple of good snowmobile tracks, so.
So you want to see something cool. That brown line of sticks right there is a beaver dam. And this is Beaver Pond. And it looks like there's been a moose wandering around out here. Look at these tracks. Uh, not quite big enough to be a moose for sure. Um, probably someone's dog. But, I mean, there's definitely some big tracks going along the top of the beaver dam that you can see through the trees over there. Um, that's really cool. Um, I've gone a little over three and a half miles and I'm going to turn around now because the trail is getting real loose. So deploy the puffy coat and I've got mittens in here, but because it is not very cold, I am going to wear these beat up 45 North gloves um, because, and I'm going to put this buff back on so i'm going to add to what i'm wearing now which is a thin long sleeve base layer a long sleeve jersey lightweight tights and my old band winter pants um, i'm going to add this stuff to the top and go back to 